welcome and thank you for joining me today is a big day repairing the exhaust on my volvo 240 let's hear the problem and this will be the result after the replacement Well, I have decided to replace the whole exhaust system pretty much front to back from the exhaust manifold to the tailpipe. With the power of editing, I'm going to show you what the problem is and why I decided to get a completely new system. Mileage on the car, 215,000 kilometers. It's a 1990 model built December of 89. Um, I went to one exhaust shop and they told me that this was beyond repair since the metal is very thin here so the catalytic converter has completely uh, disconnected from the pipe and uh, the bracket that holds the front pipe in place is also broken this was my biggest fear those three nuts uh, to disconnect from the exhaust manifold. This is where the bracket was welded on as you can see it over there on the new pipe uh, Let's take a closer look at the catalytic converter Never had an issue with the oxygen sensor. The catalytic converter is appears to be in good shape. It's not melted All the little holes are free as I've seen later a couple of uh, leaks that were really minor, uh, nothing to worry about. These are the old rubber hangers, still in good shape. There was one leak up front was okay. One leak here at the back, which I uh, sealed. Another small leak over here, as you can see by the black suit. And I wonder if this exhaust is original from 1990. I don't know, could be, could be replaced at some point. Let's begin the disassembly. I'm gonna try and make this video as short as possible with uh, not too much detail, because it's really hard to film. So my first uh, and biggest fear was those three nuts, one at the back, two up front. If they're gonna get uh, loose, or are they gonna break and I will need to drill out the studs from the exhaust manifold um, this is another view from underneath the car uh, one nut to the back and two nuts up front I soaked them in DW40 a couple days and this is the result lucky me two nuts came off no problem and one stud came out from the manifold the catalytic converter as you can see hanging there this was my setup two long extensions and a long breaker bar got loose those two nuts this is the old gasket doesn't look like it was leaking or something the pipe is definitely old and rusty and crusty um, as you can see the metal here is uh, pretty thin so the shop told me if, when they're gonna weld it in place it might not hold and it might make holes so these are the two nuts which I'm gonna be reusing but the other nut actually came out with the stud altogether which is not a big deal to me as long as it's out and let's take another look underneath this is where the bracket is uh, supporting the first pipe so that's uh, disconnected and the rest will be easy it's just hanging on rubber uh, supports so it's gonna be pretty easy to take it out but before we need to disconnect those two wires to the oxygen sensor 
and get the wire free from all the clamps so disconnect those two connectors including the green wire and drop it on the ground once that was done I went up ahead and started to disconnect the rubber hangers also please don't forget that I'm not a professional mechanic I'm a DIYer this is my hobby and I did it by myself pretty much 90% my own labor so I saved quite a bit of money by doing this job myself and you will see later why I said 90% It's out. To give myself some more room, I decided to raise the back of the car a little bit more and I uh, put some uh, concrete blocks under. Definitely more, to room, more room to work on the Volvo. Let's take a look at the new exhaust and compare. It was difficult to find the correct parts to make sure I'm ordering the correct stuff. The box contains the back exhaust the two resonators and I bought it from my dealer this is the part number for the kit made in France and this contains everything you need including the hardware the rubber hangers and all the clamps necessary I could go with a stainless steel exhaust system uh, aftermarket one but it would be more money and I don't think that uh, the Volvo was to invest in a uh, rust proof uh, exhaust system I think this exhaust will last for many many years since I'm driving this vehicle only in the summer quick unboxing and what do we have every part actually has a different part number so you can definitely use it as a reference new rubber hangers the clamps are 54 millimeter also included and again every part is uh, separately numbered by Volvo so I guess you can order those separately if you need but the kit definitely cost less if you would buy it separate in pieces I'm gonna pause at each one of the parts so you can clearly see the numbers and I will, it, I will include those numbers also in the description below. Next I'm gonna pause the video and show you the difference with the new exhaust system. Notice how the original is pretty much straight. That's because it goes under the axle towards the ground. The new system goes above the axle. And I was really worried if it's going to fit the Volvo. And it actually did. So I was pleased to find out when I installed and it did fit. So lucky me. So yeah, so the new one goes above the axle. Um, here's another number on one of the uh, middle resonators. Two new rubber hangers that support the system midway uh, through the vehicle. Now this is an aftermarket uh, catalytic converter from Rock Auto. I actually bought it locally from a guy that uh, did not need it, so thanks to him. New oxygen sensor. And what I noticed with this new catalytic converter is that it actually the same diameter as this connection here. So that's going to be an issue. I will need probably to go to an exhaust shop to make it fit. New oxygen sensor made in USA, at least it's assembled there, Bosch. Uh, those nuts were sourced separately. This will be the plug uh, for uh, if you don't want to use the oxygen sensor. Uh, the front pipe is also Volvo made also made in France the part number for that and it has a new bracket which I will modify later and a new gasket 
um, to connect to the exhaust manifold. The nuts and the stud here I'm gonna reuse even though it is available separate from Volvo. So let's begin the installation. I did decide to modify the bracket because I wanted to insert a bolt all the way straight through the bracket to make it more reliable so it doesn't hang on that welded plate. This is how it's gonna go. I just need to go to Home Depot and get a long enough bolt uh, to connect it. The bracket sits here on the side of the transmission and yes, I have a rear main seal leak which is gonna be a big job uh, to do later maybe next summer. I did clean the mating surface here at the exhaust manifold as best as I could. New gasket and this will require another pair of hands. My two friends came over to help me out and here you can see the new bolt with the washer. This will be a much secure connection and will be more reliable. So that's done and the nuts and the stud are back in place nice and tight hopefully no leaks will be found later took my cross country to a local exhaust shop this is the place i went here in winnipeg and they actually in five minutes did it for free what they did is they have expanded the catalytic converter pipe to make it fit over the volvo one just like that a little too wide but he told me it will compress this metal is really soft new oxygen sensor in position much easier to do it while it's off the car so that was my first uh, um, ask for help from an, an exhaust shop there will be another one later now let's try and fit the rear exhaust system and see how it's gonna go. Off camera I purchased new clamps, same 54 millimeters. This gasket came with the uh, catalytic converter included in the kit. So here's the catalytic converter connected to the front pipe with three bolts that I sourced separately they didn't come in the kit now it's time to fit uh, the rear the rear kit all together when i uh, went to the shop he actually told me that uh, those clamps are good but they're not good enough if you want uh, a leak free system it's uh, better to weld all the connections i decided not to because just in case i need to take the exhaust system off it's gonna be easy to do just undo the clamps get a new one if you need and you're done you can disconnect the system in pieces if needed if you weld it then you need to cut it so i decided to use clamps let's continue with the installation both of my friends are here it's a hot day we're working on the volvo and uh, to complete this uh, swap took me pr pretty much almost a week uh, because i did it in the evenings on my free time and those clamps are tight but later we will find some uh, leaks and we will have to move them and reattach because it's not a hundred percent when you tighten those clamps it actually collapses the pipe together and it uh, seals uh, the, the the connection uh, uh, to make it leak free but again it's not gonna be 100 percent so the rear muffler and the tailpipe as you can see is uh, connected here including the over the axle pipe all done all tight next is gonna be the oxygen sensor to route it and uh, connect it and secure it 
here are the both connectors, some zip ties, routed it uh, in the original clamps there, all the way down with some more zip ties, that's how it was originally done. The bracket at the bottom is nice and tight, makes me happy that I decided to go that way. You can see the oxygen sensor wire there, the three bolts and nuts, all the way to the back. Let's see how it's gonna work. Before we continue, I'm gonna show you a little issue that we encountered later when we started the vehicle. I'm gonna pause the video and explain here. The catalytic converter and its pipe, so I'm gonna pause here. See how close it is to the bracket that supports the drive shaft? It actually makes contact with the bracket when the system is up to, te up to temperature. So I had to attend another exhaust shop to make it work. And I'll show you later what they did. Because no matter how we adjusted it, it still was too close to the bracket. And I just had no tools to bend it and to make it further away from that bracket. And here's the moment of truth. A starter. That was just the starter and sometimes it does it. Tishina. Da. Da. Слышу. Сечёт. Ого, как сечёт. Readjusting those clamps and putting them in a different uh, position actually did work and the leak has disappeared. Otherwise, the exhaust system is nice and quiet and finally I can hear the engine roar. And here's what we did, we moved the clamp a little bit uh, further in, re-tighten it and the leak is pretty much gone. Again, not 100%. Ideally, you want to weld those. Anyway, the exhaust system is nice and quiet. Now it's just a matter of uh, driving the car and monitoring how everything is working. The buzzing sound coming from the uh, fuel pump here. Here is another shot with the wide angle lens on the iPhone. Uh, comment below how do you like the quality. I think uh, the quality is great uh, considering it's just a cell phone. Yeah, phones came a long way today. So this is what I'm using now to film all my videos. Now to the uh, bracket problem with, where it was making contact. So right here you can see that I've tried to bend the bracket. I hammered it a little bit uh, towards the body. Still didn't work. As soon as the exhaust system went hot, uh, it started knocking on that uh, bracket. So I went to a different shop and this is what they did. They completely installed a new piece of pipe and they welded it into position. As you can see from the back of the converter to the front of the resonator. And this uh, fixed my problem. Um, that's why it was 90% uh, my labor. The rest uh, was done by the exhaust shop. Again, saved me a lot of money. Uh, the exhaust shop charged me $170 for uh, reinstalling that piece of pipe.
total cost on this repair approximately 1200 Canadian dollars I don't know if it's a lot or not I've never dealt with exhaust systems before but now the Volvo is whisper quiet and I enjoy every day when I drive it I hope you like this video subscribe to the channel don't forget the notification bell and I'll see you next time bye bye